Jean-Pierre Bemba arrives at the Electoral Commission offices to submit his candidacy for president. The last 24 hours have been a whirlwind for him. He's been heavily guarded by police. Party officials say his movement has been restricted. He's not allowed to publicly address his supporters. And the government has denied him access to a residential home at a suburb called Gombe in the capital city. The police are telling us that Bemba has to change his residence. This is a violation of his rights. He's come home and should be able to freely move around and live where he wants. Kinshasa's police commissioner is in charge of Bemba's security arrangements. He says all this is for his protection, but they will not allow him to go to Gombe, which is also a presidential area. Security measures have to be taken. His home in Gombe is very close to the president's residence. In 2006, his supporters crashed with the presidential guard and people died. We are trying to avoid anything like that happening again. At the Electoral Commission offices, Bemba had to first register as a voter before filing his candidacy. He's been away at The Hague for the last decade. He was arrested in 2008 in Belgium for war crimes committed by his militia in Central African Republic between 2002 and 2003. He was then convicted to 18 years in prison two years ago by the International Criminal Court. That decision was overturned on appeal in June. Bemba has just finished submitting his papers to the Electoral Commission. He's a fast, strong contender to do this before registration closes next week. Some of his supporters have been here all afternoon cheering him on. Now his political fate is in the hands of the commissioners who will either approve or deny his candidacy. It took him hours to clear up with the commission and now he has to wait for a few more weeks to know for sure if he'll be on the ballot paper in December. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kinshasa.